hello uh, today we will study about torsion testes and epidemiorchitis for few lectures i will be covering urinary system which is given very lesson your books so you may be having difficulty in this now the questions that have been asked on torsion testes and epidermorchitis are like a short note on torsion testes difference between uh, testicular torsion and epidermorchitis and differential diagnosis of painful scrotal swelling in a 10 year old boy so first of all should we should know the definition of testicular torsion and epididymoarchitis testicular torsion is a condition in which the testis twists on an axis on its own axis leading to compromised blood supply while epididymoarchitis is whenever there is itis you should know there is inflammation so in epididymoarchitis there is inflammation of epididymis epididymis orchitis is testis so inflammation of testis and epididymis now this is normal testis this is torsion testis here it is rotated and see the position of testis it is higher up and rotated and this is inflamed epididymis here it is also inflamed see the difference it is normal it is inflamed and there is inflammation of testis in epididymorchitis so this is the picture of torsion testis and this is epididymorchitis epididymis and orchitis okay so the short term the torsion testis usually undescended testis is more prone to testicular torsion one more important thing is it is always an emergency condition testis can be saved if surgery performed within 6 hours and detorsion done the right testis rotates in clockwise direction while the left testis in anti clockwise direction i'll show you this is suppose patient is lying in lithotomy position and this is right testis and this is left testis this is rotated in clockwise direction in torsion when surgery is performed the testis are derotated right one is anti clockwise and left one is clockwise and fixed then that is space at three point fixation is done. Now the predisposing factors for torsion are inversion of testis. The second is high investment of tunica vaginalis that is also called bell clapper deformity, which leads to a lot of space between testis and epididymis. You can see, and it is legs also. So chances of twisting are there. If there is gap between body of the testis and epididymis, so it is also vulnerable to rotation. Any vigorous activity which leads to contraction of trimester leads to may lead to testicular torsion. The clinical symptoms are the patient usually presents in surgical emergency in nights and give a history of either sleeping or having a vigorous exercise the age is between 10 to 25 years old like children and adolescent the pain is acute onset examination findings will reveal testes will be tender there will be redness and there will be no impulse on coughing there are two signs which are present in testicular torsion one is damming sign the testis 
concerned will be lying at a higher position because of twisting so length is decreased this testis will be at higher position and the angel side and this opposite testis lies horizontally this is due to defect you can say in mesorchium which is present between testis and epididymis okay the treatment as as you know it is emergency condition so even if you are suspecting clinically that there is torsion you should not wait for any investigation and you should go for surgery and do detorsion the right testis is detorted in anti-clockwise direction and left in clockwise direction and they are fixed at three points in dato space two lateral and one anterior if in doubt ultrasound doppler can be done to diagnose the testis till you should hurry up because if it is operated within six hours we can save the testis one important point is opposite testis should also be fixed at as there are high chances of torsion of this testis in future again three point fixation within that space if testis is not viable then the affected testis should be removed or gyrectomy and the opposite testis should be fixed okay the next question which been asked this difference between torsion testis and acute epidermolarchitis this is prehens sign which is very important to diagnose prehens sign is when we elevate scrotum with our we can say palm there is relief of pain in case of epidermolarchitis but in torsion it does not relieve or you can say it is increasing by elevation now the torsion testis the age of presentation is usually young and adolescent here there is no specific age it occurs even in 40 years of patients torsion testis usually presents after exercise or patient sleeping acute epidermal architis is infective condition usually torsion testis usually presents within six hours as soon as patient having pain as it is very severe patient presents to the emergency here there can be delay of more than 24 hours if fever is there in torsion which is rare it is usually low grade but in acute epidermolarchitis fever is usually present in torsion testis there is no dysuria no burning maturation in acute epidermolarchitis it is present if you examine prostate on rectal examination there is no tenderness in case of torsion testis but in acute epidermolarchitis there is tenderness if you do ultrasonography the testis will show decreased blood flow and in acute epidermorchitis there is increased blood flow and you, as you know the difference torsion testis should be operated and this can be managed on antibiotics at at this infective condition that i have not written you can add the next question that has been asked is differential diagnosis of painful scrotal swellings Two you have read one is torsion testis second is acute epidermorchitis then there can be acute epidermitis inflammation of epidermis only and acute orchitis there can be torsion of appendix of testis it means whole of the appendix is not rotated but only appendix of testis is rotated testicular hematoma following a trauma can be other diagnosis and pyocele as another differentials you whenever this question is asked you should write these enumerations and one or two points like torsion testis you have seen epidermolarchitis you know stagnant hernia you know torsion appendix is nothing special in this this differences appendix is only rotated there is histoprominent hematoma acute epidermitis or arthritis like acute epidermolarchitis and pyocele okay thank you